there were times where he would pivot, he would like pivot, run away, pivot, neutral air. And you could have fished an up air in between the hits and the neutral air. But you didn't. You just sort of stood there and let him land for free. You didn't even like go. Yeah. I did notice. I didn't want to say anything because I didn't want to say Adam is messing up a lot and John for you on stream. Alright, alright, in the game. In the game. Alright, so uh, GSO, Flacco, uh, Fox Falco. Uh, uh, GSO representing the, uh, the B Fox tag. Let me reset the score, my bad. Uh, game one on FOD. Whoa, weird, almost weird pick. I would almost pick this to Falco. But uh, I could see it potentially being a neutral stage. Um, depends on how comfortable GSO is, is on it. I'm assuming very much so because he, uh, you know, neutral game to it. Um, okay, gets him off stage. Uh, yeah, gets a, get up attack was the right choice, and then he'll roll. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, if his angle was a little better, he actually could have lived. Uh, he could have gone up above the back air. He also could have gone underneath the back air. Both would have been possible, but not quite a good enough angle. Good, good DI from GSO. Now he, had, now he has to be able to get back. Good fast fall. Able to get back. Kind of uh, soft reads to roll in. I love when GSO does that. He like sort of just stands there, expects you to roll in. So happy when it actually happens. Uh, gets clipped. And back aired, but uh, that's okay. He actually isn't necessarily dead. Okay, but coverage, and he will die. Uh, GSO for a for a quick second, for a hot moment, was thinking about going for that shine spike. I can see it, but doesn't need to. Taking 19% for that indecision isn't that bad. And uh, good F smash to close out that stock. Good DI from Flacco, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, yeah, I guess he could have reacted to the F smash. It is pretty slow, but uh, I would have not DI'd that one directly. I never really expect Fox's hard smash. Uh, good up tilt, back air dare. Oh, he should have gone for the dare. I don't know why he didn't go for the dare. Uh, he might have actually meant to. That's also that's uh, I guess that's possible. I'm not thinking about it. Grab left. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, good, good old sloppy play from GSO. Classic. Uh, putting, giving, giving justice to the B Fox tag and playing a little sloppy. Uh, good back air to finish off that stock and uh, GSO with a pretty good lead uh, here in game one. Dead. Uh, nice. Unnecessary. I gotta shine in between those drills. I gotta show that I can press more buttons. Uh, chain grab? Okay, ops to end it with an F smash. A little late on that uh, F smash, uh, down smash, but it actually would have worked uh, based off of where Falco's IP from. It's really hard to tell because of the lower frame rate of the stream, but I'm pretty sure that would have worked if it was timed correctly. A good dash attack. Oh, uh, I guess he jabbed or F-tilted to clank with that side B. I couldn't really tell what it was. And uh, up throw back here. Gonna make it really hard for Falco to come back. Uh, or not. Or you just, you know, let Falco get back for free. Soft back here. Clip the wings. No, Falco's still making it back. So kind of a little sloppy with these edge not getting them. But that'll definitely be it. So taking game one over Flacco on Fountain of Dreams. Uh, an interesting neutral stage, in my opinion. But... And uh, into game two, I would think FD would probably be a really strong Falco stage. Uh, Pokemon also pretty good. Battlefield, if he wants a more neutral. Okay, he just wants more neutral, I think. I mean, that's how I interpret this. Ha! Huh, interesting, and uh, Jisa just stood there on the platform. And uh, he still side beat onto the stage. That's, that's terrible. Uh, holds down and forward airs, but... Uh, and loses the stock, but not not the terrible situation. I am joined by the legendary B Fox. Hello. How's it going, B Fox? It's pretty spectacular. How do you feel knowing that GSO is wearing your tag? It's amazing, dude. Yeah. Illy. He's uh, the fox I aspire to be. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, back in the match, uh, GSO still holding strong. <clears throat> a little lead, although uh, a lot of that lead can actually be attributed to uh, sort of an SD from Falco. Oh, really? Um, yeah. But uh, GSO did take game one on Fountain. Uh, and oh, that's usually a good stage for Falco. Falco. That's yeah, what yeah. I said when it was the neutral stage, actually. But uh, yeah. GSO performed really well, got, uh, got around the platforms really well, and honestly, he didn't get comboed as hard as he could have, uh, as that stage typically goes for Fox. Good edge nice. from GSO, takes yeah. the ledge and just... Does uh, 
things to Fox that cause him to die when he, I mean Falco, when he has the side B. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so this is uh, a bit of an unfamiliarity. As a floaty player, uh, I don't actually understand why Falco would ever really grab in this matchup. I know it um, needs to break shield, right? He absolutely has to, but he gets so little from it as compared to a shine. The only thing you can really get off of it is a uh, mix-up with forward and back throw, or positional advantage with up throw for Falco. Yeah. Um, there's not a ton, and even then, the the mix-up with the throws only leads into another grab. So yeah. it's really, it's not much. Yeah. Um, Fox gets a lot more with the chain grab. Uh, yeah. But If only his down throw was faster, yeah. uh, he could make that a, a reactable mix-up, where you can't react to the down throw and he could shine you. Yeah. But uh, alas, that is not the game we play. Oh. Melee is the way it is. Oh. Falco was far enough out there that grabbing the ledge would have just sealed his fate. Oh, and a good back air cuts, catches him going down to the ledge. Yeah. Uh, cuts the angle with a good back air. Waits. I really like GSO's positioning there, because he had the option to run up or down uh, whichever way Falco came at him. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, good back air from the ledge. Keeps himself safe from coming down. Oh. Oh, quick, quick damage from GSO, and oh, okay. He, I think he should have gone for the grab. I think the grab was the more, the better choice in that situation. Yeah. And oh, that's that'll it. be it. Two O to Man. GSO.